Hello, my name is John Ive de Lindqvist. I've been asked to talk a bit about the background for my new novel, Refugium. Uh, the thing is that three years ago, I was approached and asked if I was interested in writing the seventh book in the Millennium series after Stig Larsson and David Lagerkrans. Uh, and I was supposed to write um, 100 pages just to see if I could. I've never written a crime novel before. I've only written horror. So uh, when me and my wife went to Cuba, and I started writing this thing, and I've never had so much fun in my life. It was so great to create a story where the characters already existed, and I didn't have to spend a lot of time developing or explaining the characters. Mikael Blomqvist and Lisbeth Salander were already there. So I wrote maybe half the novel in five weeks. Uh, it went very, very fast, and when I came home to Sweden, I wrote the rest, because I, I, knew, I knew the story and I wanted to finish it. Uh, so eventually the editor, she was going to be editor for the book, we had a meeting and she said the fantastic thing, um, we think this is a really great book, but could it have a different story? And the story was the thing I liked most about the book. So um, after that they also thought the sexual content was a little bit, a little bit too much, there were a few too many coincidences, um, it was too funny, they thought. Well, uh, and then I think 18 months passed where the book was, you know, traveling around the globe, the manuscript, different people read it, had different opinions. But eventually I got, uh, they said that, no, we don't want this. We don't want this to be the seventh millennium book. By then I had already started thinking about how I could use this story differently without these characters. And I knew I had to create two characters who were similar enough to Blomqvist and Zalander to, for the story to work, because there is a lot of hacking, computer stuff in it. Uh, but they could, couldn't be too similar either, because that would be plagiarizing, so I couldn't do that. And then I had, the, in my mind, very good idea of, yeah, okay, let's reverse the sexes. So, now the, the main protagonist is a woman who's around 50, who's a very big crime writer, uh, and a young man who's a computer specialist. And the thing is that this woman, she gets offered the possibility, she's a writer, to write the seventh millennium book. And to be able to do that, she knows to know a lot more about computer. She also, so she gets in contact with Kim Ribbing, uh, who's a computer expert and a computer hacker. And they start a relationship. And uh, they are the main protagonists. Um, and the thing that happens is that um, there is a midsummer party in Sweden. Uh, in the archipelago, on an island, where six, pe six people who are connected to uh, climate compensation, uh, they have a, a lunch, a midsummer lunch, out on the jetty, they have a table, you know, all the Swedish utensils, and they sing songs, or like we do in Sweden. And uh, then a, an open boat approaches the jetty, stops, two men with balaclavas over their heads rise with automatic weapons in their hands and massacre everyone on the jetty, everyone except the, the, the host, the host's 14-year-old uh, daughter who slips under the table and into the water and survives. And uh, she's also important for the story. And Julia Malmros, who is the crime writer, the woman, she has her uh, summer house on an uh, island close to this. And Kim Ribbing, the computer expert, is there to visit her. And they hear the gunshots. So they take a boat and go over to this other island. And they find all the dead bodies and they get drawn into the investigation, which is led by uh, Julia, Julia's uh, ex-husband, Johnny Munter. Uh, Julia also used to be a policewoman. And they start investigating why people who worked with climate compensations got brutally murdered on midsummer in Sweden. And uh, the story has connections to, to many places in the world. It takes place in Shanghai, in Havana, Cuba, and on an oil rig in Norway. So it's a very, it's an international thriller. Uh, and um, I don't know what else I can say. It's um, it's a great joy that it turned out the way it did, because um, the Millennium people wanted to have a lot of opinions about the story, the text, how the characters were made. Now I can make it from my own mind, and uh, I have the possibility to write as many books as I like. Three are planned for, for the moment. Three I have the stories for. Might be a fourth one. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Bye.